Ladies and gentlemen, we love our next guest for so many reasons. Uh, the fact that she is uh, the woman behind uh, Feastcom, otherwise known as FeastSTL.com, otherwise known as Feast Magazine, Feast TV, Feast Webpage, <laughs> Feast Apps, all sponsored by Jimmy's on the Park, 706 Avenue in Clayton. Call them at 725-8585 or their website at Jimmy'sCafe.com for menu and directions. Good morning, Cat Neville. Good morning. How are you guys? We are great. Uh, we're so glad you were smart and used your head and didn't try and rush out here in the traffic and the snow and the weather. Smart thinking as usual, Cat Neville. Well, it's crazy. I mean, honestly, the roads aren't too terrible, but in it's just everything is slow going. Right, so. mm -hmm. right, I miss smart. you guys. That's, I'm sorry I'm not there. We miss you too. Well, that's all right, smart. Be, you have to be, be a little Uncle Freddy these days, so good, <laughs> good to be smart. All right, uh, let's get to it. You have a uh, let's start with the supermarket in Lafayette Square. Yes, there is a brand new supermarket called Fields Foods, and um, it is kind of sandwiched between Soulard and Lafayette Square, and it's at 1919 Park Avenue, right off of Highway 55. So there's a Walgreens that's been there for. Um, for a number of years and the fields foods is right there kind of in that same area as the walgreens and so it's very convenient to the highway and it just opened this past saturday and let me tell you with snowmageddon coming their opening day they were absolutely packed like elbow to elbow people all right now there's a picture we're showing from your website mm -hmm. that shows a picture of somebody in a cart with it <laughs> With a, with the best way to describe this is a cup holder on their cart, and they're drinking wine. Yes. So well, shouldn't you be able to drink local wine and beer while you're course. grocery shopping? While you're shopping for your frozen pizzas? Absolutely. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this grocery store actually has a bar, uh, believe it or not, and you can go to said bar, and you can either belly up if you want, just have a glass of uh, local craft beer um, mm -hmm. or you can also they have cup holders on all of their um, grocery carts and yeah you can kind of wheel your cart around the store and sip on wine while you do so which is I've never heard of that before and I think it's absolutely brilliant I will tell you this here is my prediction cat uh, uh, um, Neville <laughs> yes. that I was looking at Kelly and thinking of cat I got rattled um, <laughs> Here's my prediction that Fields Supermarket and the bar there will become the biggest, best pickup place yeah. and singles bar in town. Mm -hmm. Well, they always say, you know, look, go to the grocery store. You might find some other single people, like right. look and see what it mm -hmm. is that they're buying. If they're buying, like, you know, lean cuisine for one or something, they're probably <laughs> single. Um, but, yeah, so the I, another friend of mine said, um, well, soon they're just going to have to have karaoke on Friday nights. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, why not? I mean, it's possible. Right. <laughs> I hope that is the case. I will say I went there Sunday mm -hmm. after covering Snowmageddon. And there were about three people in there, of course. So, well, what did you think of the interior? I think loved it's it. really nice. Yeah. I, I think it's. I'm very happy to have a, a place like that in Lafayette Square. It was greatly needed. So, Absolutely. I mean, they have uh, they have an in-house bakery. They carry local meat. So the beef, I went and I kind of uh, – uh, I challenged myself and also Field Foods. I hadn't been yet. Um, Kristen Brashear is our digital managing editor, had been there to do kind of a sneak peek while I was out of town. And so I had seen photos, but I hadn't actually been myself. And so I kind of, I went through and decided on a recipe I was going to make. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to get a couple things in here that are a little bit obscure that maybe, you know, they wouldn't necessarily carry. I did a, I made a, a pot pie. It had puff pastry and all this kind of stuff. So I went in and they had everything that I needed. Um, but what I was impressed by is that the beef that they're carrying is Rancro Ranch beef, which we've talked about before. It is a local um, uh, cattle producer, cattle ranch, and they do all grass-fed, grass-finished beef. And um, it's a family that, that runs it. It is an incredibly sustainable and, um, and fantastic operation. So they carry um, Rancro Ranch beef. They carry uh, pork from Todd Geyser um, Farms, which is over in Washington, Missouri. They have a lot of local cheeses, local wines. Um, they're really focusing in on having kind of, quote, grocery store, unquote, stuff that you need. But then they also are peppering in just a ton of, um, of locally produced goods. So it's a really nice kind of melding together <clears throat> of what a lot of people 
want as well as what they need um, in the city. So I'm, I only live a few blocks away, so I'm, I'm thrilled. I have a bigger question for you. I, yes. I should be putting Lean Cuisine for One in my cart? <laughs> I don't even know if that is a thing. Because <laughs> I've been putting Hungry Man Swanson Dinners for Two in my cart. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my, my problem, you see. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> the little jello, the little thing in the middle, that thing's the best. Hungry Man's the best. All right. Uh, Fields Foods, new supermarket in Lafayette Square. That's great for the neighborhood, and it's, and it's great for the city. So that's, it is. It yeah, is. It's yeah. terrific. I'm excited about it. All right, good. And what's number two? Number two is also brand spanking new. Um, just, just opened within the past couple of weeks, and it's um, David Bailey's new restaurant. David Bailey is the man behind Bailey's Chocolate Bar, Rooster, Bridge, Range, mm. Fifth Wheel, and which is inside a Four Hands Brewery, and now he's got Small Batch in Midtown, and the um, the address is 3001 Locust Street in Midtown Alley, and it is um, a whiskey bar, and obviously whiskey is kind of the new big thing. Everybody's opening, and right. whiskey bars, and is, everybody's excited about whiskey, um, but then also it is vegetarian, which... Um, and what, uh, what David said is that he really wants people to come in and not miss the meat. So it's not like there's a bunch of tofu on the menu and tempeh and, you know, stir fries and this kind of stuff. It's very hearty food. Um, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, there's, there's this one thing called the winter rolls where it's blue cheese and mushrooms inside of essentially an egg roll wrapper um, that's deep fried and it's served with this kind of fig jam. Um, you know, he has uh, gnocchi on the menu, which obviously, obviously are those wonderful kind of potato dumplings and that's served with uh, blistered uh, charred tomatoes and arugula. He has a linguine with cauliflower and Moroccan spices and citrus zest. So there's a lot of flavored food, but not any meat at all on the menu. Uh, if it's anything like Bridge. I love Bridge. Oh, my goodness. What a restaurant that is. Well, you know how um, at Bridge he has this, you know, when he opened up Bridge, it was um, groundbreaking. The way that he opened his, uh, had that amazing beer menu like right. all of those beer taps that you when you walk in i mean still you're just kind of like oh my gosh i could have 500 beers essentially right. when you go into small batch and you look at their menu their whiskey selection is d devised in the same way kind of like when you're at range he has this amazing soda selection um and so when you go when you when you go to small batch if you're a fan of whiskey this is a great place to go the the menu is arranged where you can read all the different whiskeys and then there are tasting notes and also kind of the provenance and things like that but it's really fun to read all the different notes on how each one of the whiskeys like what the flavor profile is and you know and all, it, it's, it's a really really neat experience uh i've never met that guy but i want to meet him because bridge is great range the milkshakes at range are great that's a He's great a concept for a bar so uh, looking David's forward to this a terrific guy he's very soft-spoken yeah. um and he just he is he's he was in the industry in the restaurant industry when he was younger and um had worked in kitchens front of house this kind of stuff right. and um and what's what's great about his restaurants is that they are fully conceived when you go into a space there is not one thing that is not well and highly considered so um the design of the interior he works with his wife and his sister-in-law on on designing those interiors and they do an amazing job um the the when you go into small batch the floor is what uh kind of spoke to him with regard and and it with regard to the design of the rest of the restaurant it is that hexagon shape that you saw in like 1900s buildings right um and so he used that and all of the interior it's like black and gray and white and it's and it feels very modern but also it feels like it could be 100 years old at the same time uh small batch 3001 locust mm -hmm. uh and then we've got uh fields in uh, lafayette square yes. Cat Kat Neville, I got uh, one minute. What's going on with uh, FeastCom? Well, um, I want to remind everybody uh, our Schnooks Cooks class is next week. So if you want to cook with me, join me at that. But also we have 
the um, Schnooks sponsored uh, the food and wine experience is at the end of January. If you go to feaststl.com, we have a whole page dedicated to it in our feast event section. It is my absolute favorite event of the year. I go and I stock up on wine, um, which you can get at just over retail prices. All of the proceeds go to benefit the Repertory Theater of St. Louis. And it is just a wine and food blowout at the Chase, and it is a can't-miss event and, every and, year. And when is that again? It is the last weekend of January. And so I believe the – I think it's January 25th through the 27th. I'm pulling it up. Um, yeah, go. it's the 24th to the 26th. And if I go to FeastSTL.com, I can buy the tickets there. You can – they have all different types of tickets. So you're gotcha. going to have to call. You can do VIP tickets. You can do weekend-long tickets. You can go just on Saturday. So go and, and take a look at all the different um, options that are available. Gotcha. And, um, and yeah, yeah, I'll see you there. It's an amazing event. Yeah, if, if, if that's uh, – that, that, that's a can't miss. Definitely. FeastSTL.com. Cat, be safe. Stay warm. And we'll see you next week. All right. I look forward to it. Uh, Bye. Newsstands Bye. everywhere. Feast uh, magazine. If it's not there, shame on you. Uh, you should get it delivered to your house. If you get it delivered to your house, uh, it comes with the Sunday subscription of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Dis and then you can subscribe to Feast. And you can get a deal, the McGraw deal, on your subscription. If you go to stltoday.com slash McGraw, you can get a deal on your Sunday subscription to the hometown newspaper. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. 8.50 here on the big